this video was originally intended as something else. It was intended as me playing the first stage of the Battlefield 4 campaign. Just that, nothing else. You know, just a lock I would do on a Saturday. There was basically only one problem with this, and that was I felt I couldn't do it with a straight face. My general idea was to draw some... draw... take advantage of the fact that I have a good graphics card nowadays, and that I can play the game on Ultra, and I would show that how it looks on Ultra, because everyone already knows that, and... That's not the main problem, because at this point I feel that my audience has gotten pretty used to me not actually speaking when I'm playing. Especially since I'm basically just uploading because I feel it's fun to pretend to be a YouTuber. So, I realized that I couldn't do this with a straight face. I seriously can't do this with a straight face. So, as the title states... We are gonna play the first mission, and we are going to point out the few stuff that I feel could have been improved upon, stuff that I feel is not up to snuff, like the fact that this car is sinking. I mean, it's not a bad plot device to put them in a sinking car and everything like that, but at some point, the pressure is going to start affecting the car. Now, that's not the only thing wrong with this scene. First of all, it's a tense character moment when we don't go... We don't know anything about these characters yet. All we know that they are a team and that guy Don is basically uh, stuck. That's all we know. We don't know who these people are yet. And we're still thinking, by the way. And this has to be close to the shore. We're in a car box age. And... Take my gun. Yeah, because blowing out the window is not usually the best way to do this, but I think there was even a Mythbusters about this. Okay, what do you feel is the alternative to not blowing out the... Uh, never mind. I don't really care about any of these people. And then we get to... Sh then we get shown that this is all a cutback, that stuff happened earlier. Now, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to complete this stage in the allotted time, but... Oh yeah, we don't, we don't seem to have any spare magazines for some ungodly reason. Yet, we still lug around the rifle, yet... I'm gonna point out a problem with us actually lugging around the rifle later. But for now, let's, let's play this tactic. It was how I intended to do it the first time, so we're not gonna try and change anything gameplay-wise. So we'll we'll just shut off the laser. Very careful, pretend like there are bullets in our rifle. Look out. Check our corners, try and make sure there's no one there. Check this room. Discover the fact that there are a bunch of enemies walking into a brick wall. Then the brick wall, it, for some reason, has a door. So let's just, for immersion's sake, sweep that side, and then we get almost get shot in our face by our guy, who, for some ungodly reason, have five American flags on his equipment. I mean, he has one on his backpack, one on his arm, two on his vest, and one on his other arm. How many American flags can you carry on a person? I mean, does he have a spare one? I mean, why does it even have? Why does he have two on the vest? I understand that one of them might be IR compatible, but seriously, there are five American flags on his vest. And I mean, this guy, done. he has one on the backpack, two on the shoulders. So far, so good. Oh, apparently we're supposed to do something right now with our guns. So we'll just grab the Swedish AK-5C, which comes equipped with a hollow 
sight, a magnifier, and a heavy barrel. That's a pretty standard setup. It's a good setup. And I'm not sure if we should pick another rifle because, you know, we're going with the tactical. We might actually equip the revolver just to give ourselves a sidearm. Uh, since we don't we don't seem to have that much of a sidearm choice. Now, as you can see, I've actually played uh, quite a bit of the uh, campaign. So, we're just going to unlock it and we're going to have a... So, we're standing here and for some ungodly reason, that AK-5 is blue. I'm not sure I want to know what kind of design decision made them think that hey let's add the AK-5 into the game and if you want to use it in the campaign let's make it blue and I don't want to know I just don't want to know that now that's a hit in the helmet right there of course the game th there's a bunch of hits we even saw the blood spurt and I was going to comment on the hit detection here, either that or the fact that the enemies seem to be able to survive multiple shots, but I have need, I have medium skill right now, and for some reason, uh, just because I was trying to make a point of it, right now it seems like it, single fire actually works well. What I can't get over with is the fact that our gun is fucking blue. I mean, I have never seen a blue camouflaged gun outside Battlefield. I really haven't. And I don't really understand why you would actually have a blue gun. Because it would contrast horribly with your outfit. Or in this case, doesn't really make any difference, really. I mean, these guys aren't trying to hide. Anyway. Now, let's see if our next point is still valid. We're gonna tag these guys and our mates are gonna open fire. Now this is the easiest shot you can possibly imagine. Yet for some reason they keep pouring lead into this atrium. Yet we we have to take we have to finish them. I mean, seriously, by all the. So we're gonna switch our side. Here they come. Here comes more of them. And for some reason, most of these guys just run straight into the room across our line of fire. So they can go to what isn't all, an all that great defensive position. I mean, come on. And I know I'm probably several years late mocking this, but since I know this is gonna happen, I might as well just take advantage of it and make this sure. You might also notice that I'm playing with reduced HUD. This is how I play in multiplayer, actually. I removed as much of the HUD as possible to make it into a sort of more realistic style, and I kept it. And I like it that way. I mean, I don't know how much ammo I got left, meaning I have to be conservative about it. Everyone okay? And in single player, it works even better, actually. This is our way out. Record. Check that crate for explosives. Oh, you mean the crate that just handily is here and for some reason doesn't include... I mean, we're in Russia. Why does the crate in have a Western All grenade right, launcher? Now, the way I would do it in the video, or if I Fire actually made hole, this a uh, serious vid video, was like this. Come I on, mean, up, make Russia. sure to blow every support and then take cover here. But for once I want to watch it blow, so let's just blow it. Now, that would most certainly put both me and the guy done in the blast radius. But hey, this is basically Hollywood tactics the game, so... We can't stay here and point out every single little thing, because that would be... Uh, apparently there's a chopper coming in. You see all, the, all these birds. Uh, you remember that plane that went down on the Houston, everyone survived? Yeah, this is not an environment that you fly a helicopter in. Because the helic, the bird, the risks for bird strike is simply too great. I mean, a helicopter might actually scare these guys away, but still. So let's advance, and of course we get prevented from right. doing so because the area. you the chose this opportunity for us to. You got it. That's the extraction point. 
So now we got a few trucks coming in, and only the third one actually got people in it. So now they will jump out, and they will be completely oblivious about the armed men standing on the top of a hill. I mean, we're walking down here in full view. If we can see them, they most surely can see us, yet they don't fucking care. So we're gonna approach quickly. One shot. Good. I mean, this is a bit awkward because, like I said, I was gonna, going to point out the fact that I needed many shots to take down what is the only medium of the enemies. But I don't get that right now, so we're just gonna open and close the weapons base and we get a reload. Then we're gonna drop a grenade launcher there, and we're gonna drop one on the machine gun car. Alright, so we'll send targets to the helicopter, hopefully. The helicopter is better at... Yeah, the helicopter is a bit more good at scaring people away. And for some reason, all the birds are over there now. I mean, weren't... Should the birds be equally spread over the entire area? Because if they're scared away by... I never actually tried this before. I can actually enter this vehicle, okay, and that means target. done will be on the gunners. So l let's see how this goes. I haven't ever actually done it this way before. Oh, sweet. They'll actually be on the guns. And But the problem is, they won't be shooting. They don't shoot at the gunner. They shoot at me. Because my teammates are invulnerable. I hadn't actually tried that before, so trying it now and finding another point to just criticize was actually kind of fun. So, I have no idea where the fuck, where the fuck they are right now. They should be on our flanks. So we're gonna move down these tunnels, and of course they throw grenades. With pretty much pinpoint accuracy. I don't mind the pinpoint accuracy grenades. But I do mind the fact that later in the game they will basically start spawning at your feet to make you move. And in an open world game like this, where everything is destructible, you shouldn't need grenades to force someone to move. I mean, just the fact that your cover can be destroyed should be, an, should be a way to force you to move. Here we have a more good example of what I mean. Never mind the fact that we're dead at this point. I'm not gonna say for certain that I hit the guy, but I hit the guy. That goes double for these two assholes. That's right, apparently assholes is the per Oh, we actually saw them spawn! I mean, god damn it. Can you imagine being those guys being put to life in a, a top tier video game, a triple A title, just then to spawn? Oh god, no. Oh, and by the way, we're kinda invulnerable while we're doing these takedowns, so we, we are pretty much going to do these takedowns, because if we do... Oh, that's really nice of you. I don't know if you caught that, but... For some reason, he decided that, no, I'm just... Oh, wait, there was actually a guy doing that in that movie, same Private Ryan. Uh, his, his comrade was getting stabbed with a knife, and instead of helping out, or shooting, or anything, doing anything like that, uh, he just... Oh, I think we actually managed to change weapon. We're not supposed to change weapon. We'll stick, we'll stick with the AK-5. The blue AK-5, and don't get me started on that shit. So let's advance down the down the flank. Part of me wonders if this is the classic Ghost Recon, not really go classic Ghost Recon Wildlands style, because this game actually predates Ghost Recon Wildlands. But it's in Ghost Recon Wildlands, you will notice that your enemies will be far more vulnerable when they are not aware of your presence. And in part, I think that... Oh, crap. This could 
be tricky. I mean, it could be tricky if we were not video game heroes that can take pretty much whatever is thrown at us. And instead of just rushing my position, these guys have decided that now we're just gonna move into a defensive position. Never mind the fact that there are only four guys and the fact that we can probably take them. I mean, had they rushed me right then, I would actually, I would actually be dead. I mean, there are still a fair argument for me actually still dying at this point. So we can only to keep advancing, shooting these guys with a bunch of shots. Headshots or not doesn't seem to matter. I mean, modern armor is good and all, but it's not this good. Yeah, we shot that guy. I want this for the record, we shot that guy in pretty much the face. Didn't do anything. Oh, at least you are trying to have a smart position. However, I have cloth armor. So, yeah. Let's see if... Yeah, our pretty much worthless team is only now catching up. I know they like to have... To put us with teammates because it seems realistic. Because... No one would actually fight through all these guys ourselves, but... Would it have been too much to ask to make the teammates useful? I'm dead serious. Would it be too much to ask to make them useful? I mean, if I'm tag letting them engage a couple of targets, couldn't they just... I mean, let, let them actually kill the targets. I mean, even go Street on Wildlands does that shit better. Wait till you see the terrorist view. Oh, I expect to be blown away. Shut up. Eyes peeled. Okay, so we're on our way up in an elevator. Fair choice. A helicopter like that doesn't have a radar. I don't know if I actually hit it. We'll see. I think my second grenade might actually have hit it. Nah, I didn't hit it. And of course they stand and wait for me. There's, a, there's an attack helicopter on their tail. And they just stand and wait for me. So, yeah, that was a clear hit, by the way. Now, I'm not shooting that thing because I think it's going to make a difference. I wouldn't be that surprised if... A attack helicopter could actually survive a 40mm grenade to the cockpit. But I'm trying to make a point. So, yeah, we're not gonna make it. And for some reason, that helicopter didn't just fill the transport. I think it's a U. UH1 Iroclis. I'm probably pronouncing that all the fuck wrong. Uh, but. Either way, that model doesn't have a radar, and it's basically just a couple of hundred rounds with the, with the nose mounted cannon should finish it off. Yet, for some reason, the helicopters seems just... Yeah, they're not good. They're just using their rockets because, you know, they're Russians, they don't know any better, or some ungodly shit like that. Now, I should mention probably mention that with all the equipment oh, we've shit. been carrying and everything like that, we're dead at this point. There you is okay, no way God, we're actually walking, walking cold, away no from this. Get down away from the wreckage! I can't! He's buried! Try! I'm over here digging up wreckage! Yeah, we had all that over us. I'm gonna see if we can actually oh, see what the hell we had over us. Christ, yeah, of course we're just dusting off our pants. You're gonna be okay, man. We're gonna get you out. Pack the fuel! Yeah, I know, I know. Stop! Rekka, cover me! Get out, get out now! Apparently, I'm supposed to cover this guy, but I'm Please, not I even given a toggle, so. No, you have to get out of here. It's not safe. So, this was what we were, were buried. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be consistent with our fall. We should be buried over here, really. I got this. Go! 
Raka, I need your help. Okay, so we need to help our boss. We're stuck in a trap of two of its own legs to survive. Hey, that's the familiar Come line. On. The bone's powder, just flesh and uniform keeping me here. Do it, cut it now! You know, this could have been a strong moment if I actually cared for the guy. Pick up your knife. And put the tourniquet on that leg. You need to seal off the blood uh, pumping from his leg. Put a tourniquet on it. I hope they already did that. Because if they did not, he's dead within minutes. Okay, so here's basically the car. This car is also also very. Fortress, this is Tombstone. Our evac is gone. Need another way out. Do you copy? Am I? I'm trying to flip this car upside down in my head. Yeah, it works if I'm flipped upside down in my head. So never mind. I was going to ask if they had flipped everything, but they hadn't really. Uh, it was just carving up to that. Now, look here. This is a shore area. I'm pretty certain we are gonna end up in the water sooner or later because that's what the intro was all about. Now, if you look at this, all the water you have here, does any of it look deep? I mean, this is in the shore. It can't be that deep. I mean, not even most harbors are that deep. And you expect me to be a place along the coast just being randomly more than 10 or 10 or 15 meters deep? I mean, no. Okay, so the helicopter's back and we're dead because the helicopter just shot a rockets on the road, yet there are no actual raiders on the road. And for some, yeah, at this point we're dead, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so basically the rocket did diddly shit, and when I recorded the first the first version, I failed at it, and I failed it now too. Of course I failed it because it's difficult to aim from... I mean, there were four, three other people in that car, aside from me. Uh, Dunn was in the back seat, and we had that fucking kid pack in the back seat. Uh, as far as I know, they're still there. We also have this guy, who for some ungodly reason gives the grenade launcher to the driver, instead of giving it to, you know, or, you know, instead of using it himself. He could, ha instead of just sitting there, he could just, I mean, they have, they could have basically just decided to, yeah, this time only one one can hit us. We gotta see if we... Yeah. Let's see if we can... Oh, I was kinda... I don't know if I actually hit it. No, I didn't hit it, so... We have to do it all over again. I don't really mind at this point. Because it all it does is give me the opportunity to just... Point out the flaws in that scene. Because, I mean, this guy could most likely stretch out the window and aim at the helicopter and probably have at least time to aim. Yeah, I'll see it. Get ready. Speed up. So I'm basically I basically suck at this. And you can get you can mention that in the comments if you like. So we are going to zigzag and try and make this at least I mean a rocket like that doesn't just put our car off the road, it would completely destroy the rock. The car. Okay, so at least now we got the helicopter. Nice. And now we're heading into the water. There is absolutely no. I'm not gonna say there is no place on Earth. Yep. Tombstone retrieved the intel, and in the event of a Chinese military coup. The Russians would be loyal to Admiral Chang. That confirms the report from our asset in China. So Staff Sergeant Dunn was killed for something we already know. There's rioting in the streets. There is no fucking way the there is that off. deep water so close sure. to, to the coast. Suez is delicate enough 
one wrong move, we're talking one. At least the music is awesome. I mean, just listen to this shit. The music is fucking awesome. And sadly, that is the only thing about the Battlefield 4 single campaign that is awesome. That's all for me. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.